Okay, guys, well, welcome to our uh, conference lesson today. My name is Alastair, and here is our conference lesson. It's called Describing the Workplace. Okay, so that is the focus of our conference lesson today. Let's get started and have a look at the lesson agenda. So in today's lesson, of course, we will have our introduction, followed by number two, common workplace stationery and equipment. Number three, workplace layouts and departments. And number four, describing your workplace. Okay, well, let's get started and have a look at our introduction. Knowing how to describe the workplace in English is crucial for effective global communication, professional growth and collaboration. It enables clear and precise sharing of information and ensures efficient problem solving. Okay, I'm going to read that one more time. Have a listen and check the translation as well. Knowing how to describe the workplace in English is crucial for effective global communication, professional growth and collaboration. It enables clear and precise sharing of information and ensures efficient problem solving. Okay. Additionally, it supports better teamwork, adaptability in diverse environments and improves customer service. Proficiency in English facilitates interactions with international colleagues, clients and partners, making it an essential skill in today's globalised business world. Okay, I'm going to read through that again. Once again, have a listen and check the uh, translation as well. Additionally, it supports better teamwork, adaptability in diverse environments and improves customer service. Proficiency in English facilitates interactions with international colleagues, clients and partners, making it an essential skill in today's globalised business world. Okay, now we suggest you write down any new vocabulary or expressions during this presentation so that you can review them later on. Of course, you can take a, a screenshot of appropriate uh, presentation slides and of course the presentation will be available on replay on the Circular De Long website uh, in a couple of days time, I think. Okay, well, let's continue. Common workplace stationery and equipment. Here, we will look at five common places to work. We will check out the stationery and equipment that is commonly used in each place. A lot of the vocabulary can be used in many workplaces. The places include number one, the office, number two, a retail store, number three, a hospital, number four, a school, and number five, a restaurant. So these are the five common places to work which we will look at today and we will check out the stationery and equipment that is commonly used in each place. And remember, a lot of the vocabulary can be used in many workplaces. Let's start with an office. An office is a place where administrative work is carried out. It often consists of individual workspaces or cubicles, meeting rooms, 
and a common area. Now, adjectives we can use to describe an office could be organized, professional, busy, collaborative, and quiet. Hello. Hi there. Just going to turn off a couple of microphones. There we are. Great. Okay, guys. Well, welcome to the lesson. Um, so we're looking at workplace description today. And we're on the first description, which is for an office. So an office is a place where administrative work is carried out. It often consists of an individual workspace or cubicles, meeting rooms, and a common area. Adjectives we can use to describe an office are organized, professional, busy, collaborative, and quiet. Okay. Let's have a look at some office vocabulary. First of all, equipment. So, uh, computer, printer, phone, copier, scanner, projector, shredder. Okay, let's have a look at those equipment office vocabulary words again. Computer, printer, phone, copier, scanner, projector, shredder. Okay, well, let's have a look at some vocabulary for some stationery that we can use in the office too. Here we go, stationary words, uh, pens, notebooks, stapler, paper clips, sticky notes, pens, notebooks, stapler, paper clips, sticky notes. Okay, so lots of office vocabulary there. Well, let us continue and have a look at the next workplace, which is a retail store. A retail store is a place where goods are sold directly to customers. It can range from small shops to large department stores. Adjectives we can use to describe retail stores are busy, customer focused, bright, organized, commercial. So a retail store is a place where goods are sold directly to customers. It can range from small shops to large department stores. Adjectives that describe retail stores could be busy, customer focused, bright, organized, commercial. Okay, let's have a look at some retail store vocabulary. First of all, some equipment in a retail store. Uh, cash register, barcode scanner, credit card reader, security cameras, inventory management system, price tag gun. Okay, so these are a Equipment words for a retail store. Once again, cash register, barcode scanner, credit card reader, security cameras, inventory management system, price tag gun. Okay. And the second column, these are vocabulary words for stationery, which we can find in a retail store. Let's have a listen to these words. Uh, receipt rolls, price tags, promotional flyers, shopping bags, markers. Okay, once again with those stationary words, receipt rolls, price tags, promotional flyers, shopping bags, and markers. 
OK, let's move on to the next workplace, which is a hospital. A hospital is a healthcare institution that provides medical and surgical treatment to patients. It includes various departments like emergency, surgery and intensive care. Adjectives we can use to describe a hospital are sterile, busy, critical, caring and structured. So a hospital is a healthcare institution that provides medical and surgical treatment to patients. It includes various departments like emergency, surgery and intensive care. Adjectives that help us describe hospitals could be sterile, busy, critical, caring, structured. OK, guys, well, let's have a look at some hospital vocabulary. First of all, some hospital equipment, hospital beds, ECG machines, IV stands defibrillators, MRI machines, ventilators, blood pressure monitors. OK, let's have a look at those words once again. Have a listen. Hospital beds, ECG machines, IV stands, defibrillators, MRI machines, ventilators, blood pressure monitors. OK, fantastic. And here we have some stationery that is used in hospitals too. Uh, patient charts, prescription pads, medical forms, labels, pens, patient charts, prescription pads, medical forms, labels, pens. OK, well, let us move on to the fourth workplace for today, which is a school. A school is an educational institution where students receive instruction from teachers. It includes classrooms, libraries and laboratories. Adjectives we can use to describe a school are educational, structured, interactive, disciplined, nurturing. OK, let's have a listen again. A school is an educational institution where students receive instruction from teachers. It includes classrooms, libraries and laboratories. Adjectives that help us describe schools could be educational, structured, interactive, disciplined, nurturing. Let's check some school vocabulary. First of all, we've got some equipment. Let's read through the equipment vocabulary. Here we go. Uh, whiteboards, projectors computers, lab equipment, desks, smart boards, musical instruments. Once again, some school equipment, whiteboards, projectors, computers, lab equipment, desks, smart boards, musical instruments. And now let's have a look at some stationary vocabulary for schools, notebooks, pencils, chalk, erasers, crayons. Once again, with the stationary vocabulary for schools, notebooks, pencils, chalk, erasers, crayons. 
Okay, well, let's have a look at the fifth and last workplace for today, a restaurant. A restaurant is a place where food and beverages are prepared and served to customers. It can range from fast food to fine dining establishments. Adjectives we can use to describe restaurants could be busy, welcoming, aromatic, lively, and clean. Let's have a look at that description. A restaurant is a place where food and beverages are prepared and served to customers. It can range from fast food to fine dining establishments. Some adjectives we could use to describe a restaurant are busy, welcoming, aromatic, lively, and clean. Let's look at some kitchen vocabulary. First of all, let's look at equipment. Have a listen. Stoves, ovens, refrigerators, dishwashers, blenders, grills, microwaves. Okay, have a listen. I'm going to repeat the equipment vocabulary once again. Stoves, ovens, refrigerators, dishwashers, blenders, grills, microwaves. Now, we can also use some stationary vocabularies in, uh, in restaurants and kitchens too. Let's have a look at those. Uh, order pads, menus, napkins, checkbooks, reservation books. Once again, order pads, menus, napkins, checkbooks, reservation books. Well, let's now think about workplace layouts and departments. Workplace layouts and departments. First of all, open versus closed office layouts. Okay, so we've got an open office layout and closed office layout. Let's think about a closed space first of all. A closed office space allows us to take advantage of the seclusion, to concentrate easily, and to feel privacy during work time. A closed space allows us to take advantage of the seclusion, to concentrate easily, and to feel privacy during work time. Okay, so those are important things. However, there are also open office spaces. There are also open office spaces. Okay, so an open space with cubicles has the advantage of interacting with colleagues, receiving constant feedback and sharing all kinds of experiences. So a lot more lively, an open office space with cubicles has the advantage of interacting with colleagues, receiving constant feedback and sharing all kinds of experiences. It's a more lively workspace. Which do you prefer? Let's think about cooperative departments. In addition, to ensure that each company functions properly, it is important that there are different departments. These are the main departments in a company. Corporate departments, human resources or HR, purpose of HR, manage the company's human talent, including hiring, training, 
performance evaluation, employee welfare, and handling labor relations. Finance. The purpose of finance department, manage the company's financial resources, including budgeting, investment managing, accounting and ensuring economic viability. So two corporate departments there, human resources and finance. Let's have a look at some more. More corporate departments. Human resources, sorry. Let's move on. Marketing. Purpose of the marketing department to promote the company's products or services, identify and attract potential customers, develop market strategies, and manage branding and communication with consumers. There is often an information technology department too, or an IT department. The purpose is to manage the company's technological infrastructure, including system and network maintenance, technical support, software development and implementation, and ensuring cyber security. Okay, so two more corporate departments there, marketing and IT. Here's one more of those departments. Operations, the operations department. Their purpose is to coordinate and optimize the company's internal processes to ensure efficient production of goods and services, manage the supply chain, and ensure the quality and timely delivery of products. Okay, so different corporate departments there. Let's think about optimizing workspace for efficiency. Having an ideal working space is extremely important to obtain successful results in economic, social, and administrative terms. Therefore, every company must ensure quality in these following aspects. Ergonomic furniture, natural lighting, noise control, constant training and feedback. Ergonomic furniture, natural lighting, noise control, constant training and feedback. Well, let's now look at describing your workspace. We already know what is inside a workspace and its main features. Now let's focus on describing it from our own perspective. Uses of the verb to be. When describing a space, people or situation, the use of the verb to be and adjectives will always be a good solution. For the existence of something, we use either there is or there are. There is for a singular noun. There are for plural nouns. Examples. In my office, there is a big window. At school, there are many classrooms. Describing a space. My office is a nice place to work. The room is very illuminated. The bathrooms in my job are always clean. The windows are big. And describing people with the verb to be. My boss is a great leader. My colleagues are very smart. I'm the youngest in the office. Carla is the best project manager. Steve is the funniest in the store. 
Okay, so we've got a little chat exercise for you guys to participate. If you wish, we want to complete those sentences again with the right form of the verb to be. So complete with the form of to be. So have a look at the first one. My office, a nice place to work. Okay, that's right. So we've got is, yeah, fantastic. Now let's check the second sentence. The room, very illuminated. Okay, absolutely. Let's have a look at the third sentence. The bathrooms in my job, always clean. The bathrooms in my job, always clean. Okay, good. And the windows, big. The windows, big. Absolutely. Okay, well, we've had some good participation there, guys. Well done. And of course, the objective is to conjugate the verb to be correctly, either is for singular or are for plural. My office is, the room is, the bathrooms in my job are, the windows are, singular and for uh, plural. Well done, guys. Great. There they are. My office is a nice place to work. The room is very illuminated. The bathrooms in my job are always clean. The windows are big. Okay. Well, let's have a look at one more exercise uh, for today. Again, if you can participate in the chat, that is fantastic. So I'd like you to describe what your job is like in terms of space, equipment, people, and features that make it special. Space, equipment, people, and features that make it special. Now, if you want to participate, you can write your answers in the chat. So while you are thinking, if you want to participate, I shall describe what my job space is like. So for example, I work in a closed office space. I work uh, with a computer okay. I am the only person who works in the office. Okay. It is a nice place to work. Ah, okay. Well, we have some response. Fantastic. Thank you. Uh, I work in my house because uh, I, I do a micro business or I have a micro business. Okay, great. And another response there, I work in an open space. I work in an open space, but fantastic guys. Well, thank you very much for your participation. Well, guys, we've come to the end of Oh, here we go. I've got another example. Thank you. I work at home. It is quiet. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, guys. Well, well done. Welcome. Uh, well done for the participation in today's uh, lesson. Congratulations, everybody. Uh, thank you for participating. Thank you for joining the lesson with me today. We just need to say thank you for watching. So from myself and everyone else at Circular DeLong, thank you very much for watching today. Thanks for attending and participating. I will be back here next Monday with another conference lesson. Um, I hope to see you then. Well, thank you. You have a nice week too. Thanks, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.